Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to see about Einstein activity capture in Salesforce. So it's one of the important and the most utilized feature in Salesforce. In this video, we are going to cover what is Einstein activity capture, licensing requirements, so user permission to use this feature, enabling the Einstein activity feature under the feature demo. So first, what is Einstein activity capture? So Einstein activity capture is one of the Salesforce feature or tool which enables us to to sync the email contact and the event between salesforce and google workspace or microsoft exchange so user can send the email or schedule the event or create the contact in salesforce that is automatically synced with the email application and the calendar application and also whatever the emails contacts events are present in the email or calendar applications are automatically synced to salesforce so this is the bidirectional sync option is available for syncing these three data for email it's always bidirectional for contact and event we can control whether it is bidirectional or one way sync so this is about the Einstein activity capture so the next thing is licensing requirement so Einstein activity capture is available as Einstein activity capture standard in the sales cloud starter professional enterprise performance and unlimited editions so in all of these editions Einstein activity capture is available by standard and also it's available when we purchase the sales cloud Einstein add-on or inbox add-on or sales engagement add-on or revenue intelligence add-on so basically feature is the generic feature it's available in the all the Salesforce editions so, so next thing is user permissions to use this feature so in order to utilize the Einstein activity capture feature by the Salesforce user we need to provide the permission let's see what are the permissions are available and how we how we can provide this permissions so first we need to go to the setup then we can go to the users for whatever the users that we need to give the permission so i am searching for one salesforce user so i am considering this user for giving the permission so first we need to give the permission set license then we need to give the permission set license let me go to the permission set license as a assignment this is the demo arc so maybe it's automatically assigned let me cross verify if it is not assigned we need to add the permission okay, so this view is not working filter is not working let me go back so let me go to the same permission set license assignment and uh, instead of clicking the go to the list i am just going to click edit assignment from here also we can verify so here let me search for the Einstein activity capture so you can see there is one license called a standard Einstein activity capture user so this is the license that we need to assign so let me save this now we need to assign the permission set so let me go to the permission set assignment and let me check if Einstein activity capture permission set it's assigned if not we need to assign okay it starts with the standard it's standard Einstein activity capture it's not assigned so i am assigning it now and i am saving it so now we are done with the third step which is we assigned the Einstein activity capture permission set license and Einstein activity capture permission so the now the user that we assigned is having permission to use this feature so next step is enabling the Einstein activity capture let's go it and enable the Einstein activity capture so as a admin we need to go to the Einstein activity capture and here we need to go to the settings here go to the configuration now you can see this is grayed out so let's do add contact and event sync so it's asking which account to connect i am going to connect microsoft office 365 so there are three level is uh, available for connecting user level oauth 2.0 arc level and service account level so uh, we are going to do with the user level so each user can connect their account separately instead of going through the entire arc level or entire service account level so here it's asking for the configuration name let me give it uh, salesforce and uh, microsoft 365 connection so it, let's keep it active under next so here we can see we are syncing the three kind of data email event under contacts so, so email by default it's uh, by directional sync we can't control this for event uh, we can change it uh, whether we need to keep only microsoft to salesforce or salesforce to microsoft office 365 let's keep it both direction and for contacts also we can choose whether it 
is uh, Microsoft to Salesforce or Salesforce to Microsoft. For the contact, we have one more filter whether we need to sync all the contact or contacts uh, user one. So if we select contacts uh, user one, if user connects their Salesforce with uh, the calendar application, whatever the contacts uh, where the user is owner, only that contact will get synced with their calendar application. So this is the best practice to keep it as a Salesforce recommends. So there won't be any conflicts if the same contact is there in the two different Salesforce users uh, email application. So it is asking about uh, how about the past emails and the past events. So we can bring maximum of 180 days of email from past to when the users are connecting for the first time. So let's keep it as it is 180 days. It's around six months we needed that much data. And for event it's asking by default it's a zero day but we can sync up to 180 days uh, event for the past so for event it's fine it's already over we don't need to have that data if it is needed we can uh, select the old days also i am keeping zero days and here we can see uh, whether we need to sync the private event uh, they might have marked uh, private in their calendar or salesforce calendar either of the places whether we need to sync or not let's not sync the private events and uh, sync event series so so whether we need to sync the event series or only the one event uh, so that configuration we can do it here and remove the deleted events so, so when the event is deleted in the one application whether we need to remove from the other application or not so that we can control here and relate synced events to salesforce record so synced events are automatically related to the contacts and uh, leads so based on the email address whether we need to link it or not that we can control so it's definitely much needed feature we need to keep it uh, and uh, here it's for contact uh, we can add the, some more condition like what kind of contacts we need to sync between the salesforce and uh, email application like uh, we may have different kind of contacts we may have employee contacts client contacts also we need to sync only client contacts that configuration we can do it here when contacts matches with the multiple salesforce contacts so what to do like uh, there is one contact in em calendar or email application but uh, many contacts are found in salesforce with the same email address that time what should salesforce do that we can control from here so most recent activity is the perfect one to keep it uh, so whatever the contact uh, which is having most event activity we can control but in your business case if it is varying you can select other things also so next uh, by default it's showing all the user who is having the Einstein activity capture uh, permission set license and permission set assigned uh, from here here we can add the user to this configuration we can also select the profile for now i am selecting this user so now we have set up the we connect we connected to the account we didn't connect to the account actually but we just selected what kind of email and calendar application and we provided sync setting advanced setting user profile assignment everything so now we are done with the configuration so now you see this configuration is available here and this is user level OAuth configuration that we have done it and if if you go to the setting you can see Einstein cap activity capture is on so we will speak about the other things uh, later so for now we will go with the topics so we have enabled the Einstein activity capture so next thing is we need to connect to the Einstein activity capture so now I am logged in as uh, one user called uh, Nandini so with this user we need to connect to the Salesforce Einstein activity capture so this user is having my email address so I am going to connect to this user with the email and calendar application so let me try refreshing the page now we have enabled the Einstein activity capture showing we are getting Einstein activity capture ready for you while you wait choose you want to share emails and the events with them so it's asking to update the sharing setting so this account i already connected that's why it is asking to update the sharing setting so how i connected is so i went to the setting and here connected accounts and email and calendar accounts so here if you see i already connected this uh, my account that's why it's uh, updating to add the sharing setting so if you are doing it for first time you can come here also it will appear in the notification also to connect after you got added to the Einstein activity capture so we need to click new account here it's same process you need to mention the whatever the account type then it will ask for the username and password so here you can just select the account that you want to connect then it will be get connected so now this is already connected my account but still i am selecting this let's see what happens okay so it's again same thing it's already in connection so let me update the sharing setting here we can configure like uh, my email and uh, 
events who else can see whether everyone can see or uh, only my chatter groups people can see or don't share with anyone so mostly uh, for the sales they share with everyone because uh, once uh, when one sales guy left the company or if manager wants to see the information they should be able to see it too so it's based on your company thing you can click whether to share with everyone or don't share or share with my chatter group for me i am selecting share with everyone and i am saving it too. okay so now let me refresh the page okay so we already set up the update sharing setting but still this message didn't go i am just manually closing this so we connected the user by going to the my setting connected accounts so the next is feature demo so we need to see how it is working so i already have an account which is having my personal email address i have sent some email from my office email to per that personal email let's see if that is appearing that emails are coming so i'm going to one contact so this is my personal email now i connected it with the my email address let me click so all activities okay so this could be the two reason one reason is i don't have any email for past six months from my office email to this email address or the sync activity is not yet completed uh, let me check the status of the sync so there is option called status and metrics see the last time that ancient activity capture and infox user email and event data was captured by salesforce amazon aws infrastructure so it's telling no data captured no event captured so i think it's still working on it it can take some time for getting it updated for the first time okay so based on the salesforce after you connect to the account it takes up to 24 hours for instant activity capture to add your emails and events to related salesforce records so inbox features are available right away so it can take up to 24 hours for the instant activity capture to add the emails and events so, so this is for the after end user connects their account to the salesforce so i will wait this to populate and once it is available i will add it to i will attach the that video with this one so now we are ready to show the demo so before showing the demo i show you the important thing if we search for the ancient activity capture we can see the status and the metrics here we can see some important uh, status uh, like uh, if we go to the report we can see the salesforce to microsoft sync status as well as microsoft to salesforce sync status the date wise it is showing uh, we can understand like for this uh, recent day today date uh, within 0 to 10 minutes 15 got synced it can be either email contacts or event and if we want to see the user level how it is working for the user level we can go to the user status so this is my user and it's connected to two different account but this is the main account so if we see this is uh, lastly synced 29th august 9 3 pm today it is and it is showing five event is synced and zero contact is synced it is because i disabled the contact sync because i don't want to bring the real contact into salesforce so now we can assure okay email sync is happened so now let me go to this uh, contact this is the contact and it's having my personal email id from my official i sent some emails to this personal email id so this is got synced here okay so this email i sent from my outlook to this personal email but uh, it's automatically came from outlook to salesforce the same way when we send the email from the salesforce it will automatically appear in the outlook sent items so this is how it works so now we can understand okay this is working fine so what if we need to see the entire level report or dashboard so we know right three types of data is syncing email event contact so email data is not stored in salesforce so we can't to run the salesforce standard report on the email but event and the contact are stored in salesforce we can do the report so for running the report on emails also and all these three salesforce is providing the activities dashboard so that we can access by going to the menu bar here app launcher and uh, here we can search for the activities dashboard so this is the dashboard so first of all if you search directly it will not appear here so you need to enable some setting for that you can go to the engine activity capture and you can go to the setting and here you can go to the setting and here you need to enable the activities dashboard and even after enabling the activities dashboard it will show some error message so to avoid that we also need to enable the activity matrix okay so once we 
enable the activities matrix we can't uh, turn it off we need to conduct salesforce only to turn it off okay so now we enabled it and uh, this is the activities dashboard you can see we are getting the great view so it's showing all the users in the salesforce org and it is having number of activities so these activities include both einstein captured activities and also manually added activities both the things it is showing you can see for my name it's showing one tool activities so, so it can include both manually captured and einstein captured here we can have some more filter also we can filter by which activity it is and we can also apply the activity date and here we can see like email is very less but event we have a lot of events the, the reason why email is less because i have only one real contact with the correct email address that's why only that is got sync so here we can see the activities trend uh, like over the period how it is so these activities like around 20 activities this got synced uh, like after i connect to the engine activity capture so if we go to the details tab it was showing some error but still it worked out so here we can see again user activity breakdown by email and the event in the right side we can also see by different account and also we can see by opportunity so user level breakdown account level breakdown and opportunity level breakdown is available here so this is another one tab called activity 3 60 so this is salesforce standard dashboard if you see the ui you can easily understand so let me refresh this but it's telling there is uh, no data it's on activities on my team's opportunity so i i didn't link any opportunity so it's not showing so it looks like uh, there is no data matching the filter conditions of this report so that's why it's not showing but we can see the data from the activities dashboard so this is how we can get the overall picture of how activities are happening in our salesforce org and how users are engaging and we can apply the different kind of builder to see the different things okay so i hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video and you got uh, informations so please let me know in the comment if you have any doubts thank you